guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Janice of MommyPlanerista.com and I'm here today to show you all my weekly planning process. So, if you guys have been watching my past videos, um, you probably know that I usually just show flip-throughs of my setup. But, um, I decided that it's probably high time that I show you um, what I actually do when it comes to planning because I've been sharing lots of pictures and Instagram on what my planner looks like so you can see all the stickers, die cuts, whatever but um, nobody actually sees what I do um, to, orga to organize my life every week so, that is what I'm going to attempt to do today. So, let's dive right in. Okay, so this is a pocket size um, Filofax Finsbury, which is my everyday carry. So, everything I need as a work at home mom is here. Okay, so if you guys haven't seen a flip through video of this one, then I'll link um, the video on the description down below. That was the video I actually published last week. So do check that out if you haven't already. Okay, now let's go open this up. Okay, there are a few things that I need to refer to before I start planning for the upcoming week. And... That would include, first, my inbox, then my work insert, my yearly inserts, and my monthly insert. So I refer to all of those before I even start planning on my weekly insert. So let's go through them one by one. Okay, so this is my inbox. Um, the concept of an inbox actually started from the Getting Things Done Method by David Allen. So he has a book that I haven't read, but I have watched a lot of YouTube videos about the method. And I decided that um, I will develop or create my own take on the inbox. So the basic premise of an inbox is to have a place where you can put um, whatever, uh, if, if something comes up that you think you need to do or an event, you need to attend, something you need to buy or stuff like that, and you can't attend to it right away, then you have to place them in the inbox so that you won't forget them. So this, that's what I do here. But I also put some categories here on these columns so that every week I will look at this page and see if there's something here that I can already do for during the week I'm planning for. So if, for example, there's an item here that I can do already next week, then I will check it under this column calendar. If it's something I bought, then I'll check the, the column on uh, expenses, projects, work, or someday maybe. So, okay, after I do that, I go to my work section, and I explained this before. When I say work, I mean my blog, my YouTube channel, and not my freelance writing um, gig because everything I need there is on my laptop. So here, I just check um, what blog posts I can write and publish for the week and what YouTube videos um, I can publish as well. So I'm already filming the weekly planning video right now. And then I'll be doing an accompanying um, blog post on that as well. So I'll be checking that off. I'll be... Um, I will post this probably tomorrow, which is a Monday, so I'll be putting that on my weekly insert. 
Next, I go through all my weekly, uh, I mean yearly stuff. First is this insert. It just has all the important dates like birthdays and stuff. So here I can see there's no um, upcoming birthdays for this week. And next here I refer to my hubby's work schedule. Um, now that he's working from home, um, his work schedule varies every month. So I have to take note of those because that will help me schedule whatever errands we have for the week. And then lastly here for the yearly, I also look at my goals uh, for the month so that I can um, schedule them for whatever week I want to do them. Um, so for example, the clutter kitchen we already did this week. And um, for next week, I plan on finishing all the third quarter exams for my um, homeschooled kid as well as the summative tests. Okay, and maybe I can also um, update my media kit already. So, okay, that's it for the yearly inserts. Now we go to my monthly insert. This is the upcoming week. So here, I know that on Saturday, my son will have a trial robotics class. So we have to go there on Saturday. But from Wednesday to Friday, that's actually my eldest daughter's second semestral midterms and Ziggy, my son, homeschooled son, that's his uh, third quarter finals week. Okay, this third quarter finals week is a schedule that was given to us by our homeschool provider, but we don't actually have to follow the schedule strictly. I, I really plan on extending uh, these three days into five days. So we will begin tomorrow and end on Friday. That way my son doesn't have to do so many exams on one day. I will spread them out um, the entire week. Okay, so now that I know all those things, that's when I go to my weekly pages. So for this month, I'm using this weekly insert by Printable Kate, and it's a week on four pages. I'll just show you first a blank one. So this is what it looks like. There's a spot here for your um, stickers, and then there's a list here for your to-dos. And then it goes up to Sunday, and then there's a section for notes down here. So I chose this insert because uh, one of my goals for the year is to use up all the sticker kits that I've accumulated the past couple of years. Um, I'm decluttering, I've been decluttering since last year and so part of that is decluttering my sticker stash. So after I did all those things a while ago, I already know how I want to decorate my weekly pages. So I choose stickers based on what I know I'll be doing uh, for the coming week. So this is how the before the pen looks like. There. Okay, so now maybe I'll show you how I actually um, start writing on my planner.
Okay, there you go. This is what I've written so far. Um, as you can see, I did not uh, fill up all the pages yet. I did not put anything on some of the stickers yet. Mainly because I'm not yet sure, for example, where we're going to eat and where we're going to do our groceries on Friday. Um, also, I kept some of these stickers blank because I'm anticipating that um, I'll be given um, some new tasks for my freelance writing gig. Uh, I still don't know what the topics will be, but I'm pretty sure... They will be scheduled on these days, so I am keeping these things blank for those. And I didn't show you, um, but I'll be writing things down here um, as I go along during the week. Most of my tasks are repetitive, so I won't waste time showing you. Um, writing those but here as you can see I just put down I check my email um, post my planner stuff social media so a lot of those things are repetitive as you can see here and then I just add whatever um, stuff that happens during the day as I go along so there you go, that's my weekly planning process. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you got some tips that can help you also with your own weekly planning process. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to type them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.